like to tell you how my life completely changed when I was still in middle school. You see, back when I was in eighth grade, I was very popular. All the kids wanted to be my friends, and I never had to worry about bullying. It was so nice to have everyone in school know my name. It was a great experience, and I know that I had it easier than most kids my age. I was very pretty, and all the guys in my class wanted to date me. They constantly hit on me and brought me nice gifts. It was nice and flattering, I have to admit. That being said, I didn't feel ready to date any of them back then. I was just happy to get their attention and perhaps sometimes flirt back. That was it, though, at least until I met Alex. It was the end of school party, and we had all decided to have a big dance. It was a semi-formal event, so my mom and dad bought me the prettiest dress I had ever worn. It was red and beautiful, and I think it made me look older than I was. I loved the way it fit and still remember the moment my mom took me shopping for it. I was so happy and swirled around to show it off. The dance was organized at the school's auditorium, and I was amazed at how lovely everything looked. There were small lights everywhere and crepe paper garlands hanging from the walls. And right there, standing in the middle of the dance floor, the cutest guy I had ever seen in my life, Alex. He was staring at me intensely, but didn't come close to me at first. He seemed a bit shy, but had the most gorgeous grin. Finally, after about half an hour of staring at each other from different sides of the room, he approached me. We began to chat, and soon he asked me to dance. Alex was so funny and sweet, and we danced all night together. I don't think any other guy had any chance with me after I met him. I instantly fell for him. It was love at first sight. I know it may sound a bit silly, but to me, it felt that way. My stomach was all knotted up, my heart was beating so fast, and I couldn't stop smiling. For the first time in my young life, I was actually considering dating someone. I didn't know how my parents would take it, but I knew it was time. We started flirting really hard after a while, and I had my first kiss with him that very night. It didn't take long before we got a bit handsy with each other. It was all so new, and I wasn't used to feeling that way. I'll admit that I didn't handle things too well. I got blinded by how nice it felt to kiss him, and one thing led to another. Soon, we were both sneaking out of the auditorium and upstairs to one of the empty classrooms. All alone, we got to kiss a lot more, and you can imagine how things got out of hand pretty soon. I was too young to fully understand everything that was happening, but I wasn't silly either. I knew I shouldn't have stayed there alone with Alex, but he was so perfect for me. I felt like I was already in love and that he was the guy I had been dreaming about. That night, he walked me home, and we kissed goodnight at my porch. I felt like I was floating on air. I swear I couldn't stop smiling. The next morning, I told my mom that I had kissed a guy for the very first time and that I really liked him. Of course, I didn't tell her everything that had happened or that I had experienced other firsts that night as well. She would have freaked out, and I didn't want her to be mad at me. I really did like Alex, and she'd never allow us to date if she knew what had happened between us. She told me she wanted to meet this boy I liked so much before giving me permission to date him. Of course, I agreed, but I didn't know if he'd want to do that. I texted him that night, and much to my surprise, he said yes. Alex told me he really liked me as well and that he'd be more than happy to come over for dinner. Alex was such a gentleman in front of my parents. He completely won them over, and they gave us their blessing to begin dating. Of course, Dad put some ground rules, like I had to come back home before 10 p.m. and that we couldn't be alone in my room with the door closed. I kind of giggled at that since my mom and dad didn't have any idea of everything we had already done. But it was fine, we didn't need to rush into doing that again, we were still very young after all. The problem was, a few months later, I began feeling really odd. I would get sick in the morning and my belly was starting to swell up a bit. I didn't understand what was going on and thought I was just under the weather or had eaten something that didn't agree with me. The problem was that it kept getting worse and it didn't go away. I mean, my belly was getting bigger, and I knew that something was wrong. Like I said before, I didn't know much about dating and all that stuff, but I wasn't completely sheltered either, so I soon realized that I might be pregnant. I freaked out completely. My best friend came to my rescue. I had texted her about my suspicions, and she arrived at my place with a pregnancy test. Those were the two longest minutes of my life. We were both in the bathroom after I peed on the stick and couldn't stop staring at the test. Finally, the results were displayed, and it turned out I really was pregnant. 
I began sobbing and my best friend hugged me really tightly. She asked me what I wanted to do about it. I was a bit confused about that whole mess, but in the end, I made up my mind. I had to be responsible and do the right thing. I was going to have that baby and be the best mom I could, even if I was really young myself. Of course, I was really shocked that this was happening and so disappointed that I could have been so foolish. I wanted to make up for the big mess I had gotten myself in. So that night, I sat down my parents and told them everything. They were so mad at first. Of course, I saw it coming, but it still hurt to see them so upset with me. I was their only daughter, and they had high hopes for my future. They felt I was throwing it all away. I promised that I would keep studying and would take responsibility for my mistakes. They were glad to hear me say that, but still not too happy about the whole situation. They told me I needed to talk to Alex right away. I got so flustered by that, but knew it was the only way to go. My parents called his folks, and we all got together to speak about it. I was so surprised that Alex completely manned up. He never once tried to weasel his way out of it, and his parents told me I had their full support as well. Of course, both our moms and dads were angry at us, but we were still their children, and they were not going to just kick us out or something like that. I thought kids at my school would mock me about it or be mean to me. Much to my surprise, when I came back from summer vacation, everyone was so nice to me. They had heard of my decision to keep the baby, and they were all so proud of me. All the girls gushed at how pretty my kid would be, and I was so relieved about it. Everyone in my life was super supportive, and I never imagined that it would be that way. That's not to say that life was easy from that point on. I had to study and take care of a baby after I gave birth to my child. He ended up being a boy, and we named him Liam. Of course, my mom and dad, as well as Liam's other grandparents, helped often, but they made it very clear that it was my and Alex's responsibility. We had to work extra hard, studying with our baby in our arms, and staying up late when Liam got fussy. Also, when he was sick, we had to miss school, and then study even harder to make up for the lost time. We ended up graduating high school along with all of our other friends, and we both got accepted into prestigious colleges. That meant we had to hire a nanny to help us while we were at class, since we moved away from home. Alex worked part-time to support us and our parents helped us with other expenses. I managed to get a scholarship, so that gave us some extra money as well. I became a nurse, and Alex graduated top of his class at law school. He got recruited by one of the best law firms in the city, and he soon began climbing the corporate ladder. He was really talented and driven, so it didn't take long for him to become a top-notch professional. Eventually, Alex decided he wanted to be his own boss. I supported him completely, of course. He opened his own practice and his talents brought him plenty of clients. Now he has over 20 lawyers working for him full time and he's doing very well for himself. I'm so proud of my husband. We lived comfortably and paid our parents back for everything they gave us. We are also able to offer Liam a good life. We are a big happy family now. Even if we messed up back in middle school, we made up for it and managed to make something of ourselves. With hard work and determination, everything is possible. I was really lucky that Alex was such an honorable guy and that he didn't bail out on me. What I thought was love at first sight ended up being real and long-lasting. I still can't believe I got so lucky. Liam is a really good student, and he is very responsible too. I'd prefer that he didn't date anyone at least till he was in high school, and perhaps even better if he waited a bit longer. I don't want him to face the same rough times his father and I did. Thinking back on everything that happened when I was younger, I know I made some big mistakes. I should have waited and taken things slow with Alex. It would have been far easier to finish high school and to study during college, but then I wouldn't have my beautiful Liam. He's growing so big and he's making both his dad and me so proud. Thank you for watching. What is the hardest decision you ever had to take in your life? Do you regret it or are you happy about what you chose? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and check out other videos on the channel.